So we've been talking about that unit test we took on ecology, and that's what you know, we talked about, right? We're taking a step back today to talk about one of the questions that we struggled on a little bit on that test. There wasn't a whole lot to work on. So the nice thing is, we're gonna bang it out here in about seven, eight minutes, and then keep moving on to energy, okay? So bear with me, watch what I do. But again, we're doing this because you'll see, this will help you a lot on our interim test coming up. And not to mention that, those of you who are at that 78 range, right, just short of 80, those of you who are flirting with those 68s, right, just short of 70, this will be an opportunity now. What I'm gonna do is, after this assessment real quick, I'm gonna go back and I'll plug these answers in to that unit test. It's gonna be a beautiful thing, right? All the chrome. So, on the board you have two things. You have these clues that ask you to identify the location of different organisms on this food pyramid. Now, the reason why this is here is because on the test, what I noticed is that we were confusing levels of organisms and classification of organisms, that's our consumers, our producers, our decomposers, with the different levels on this pyramid. And so what I'm asking you to do now is I'm gonna have you go through and use these clues to find which level we're talking about on this pyramid. For example, one, where you would find the most number of organisms, tell me. I don't want you to tell me, oh, the most number of organisms is the hawk or the most number of organisms is the frog. I want you to tell me just what level it is. So is that on level one, two, three, four, or five? You can do that for all six of them, and then we're going to bring it back. You have one minute to do it, sign me independently. Ready, set, go. I job, the guy can do it right away. Thanks. With Kayla getting down, she's already got two finished. Naja's going down, making hers nice and thick and bold so we can see them. We're going to review quick so be ready. About 30 seconds left. And then backtracking knee in five, four, three, two, and, and one. Jeremiah, that's the kind of home position track. Nice job, Janisha, Chicago. Here we go. Michaela, number one, where would we find the most organisms on this pyramid? I'd say uh, number one. Love it. Two. Jordan, where are we going to find the least number of organisms on here? Um, number five. Where are the producers on this, Robbie? Number one. Where would the largest predators be found, Nigel? The first level of consumers, Hannah. Nice. The third level of consumers, Larry. Four. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, that's, you're right. I messed up. Not five, four. My mistake. And then, Terry, you should finish strong for us. I eat producers. Number Where two. am I? Number two. Absolutely. Good. So, here's why we worked on this. Here's why we did this in a slightly different way is because of the word. You'll see here, down at the very bottom of your sheet, and you'll see in a second, it asks you to identify the first level consumer and what they eat. Now, here's why that gets confusing. When you say first level, what do you think of when you look at an energy pyramid? Do you think of consumers, or do you think of something else? With a hand, please. Okay, what do you think of when you think of the very first level? You think of the first level, you think of the bottom. Yeah, and what are on the bottom? The bottom is the the more, the more, it got more energy. Good, that's absolutely true. What type of organisms there are on the bottom? So one more time, nice and loud, so that we can hear you in the back. Good, I know they heard you in the back, they got those snaps. So here's what I do. Every time I see an energy pyramid, I go in and I'm gonna put my P at the bottom because every single time the P will be at the bottom. And what's that P stand for, Rodney? Good, and so if I wanted to label my consumers, where would I put them, Miranda? Which levels could be C for consumers? Two, two, good, what about three? We have our level of producers, the very bottom, like Kavion helped us out with. Then we have our consumers as well. And so when we look at this first level of consumers, Kavion, are we talking about producers? What type of organisms are we talking about? The lowest, like grass. Huh? Like, you're talking about the lowest of them, like the grass. So the lowest like the grass, but does, is the grass a consumer? 
How does grass get food? Grass gets food by decomposing and growing. Karina, how does grass, well, the second part you said, Karina? By sunlight, and it makes us stay on food makes their own food. That's what we're looking for, right? So when we have producers, we know it's at the bottom, they make their own food, they don't eat anything. Now when we look for our first level of consumers, right? When we see something like this, our first level of consumers, are we talking about producers? No. Darnisha? Who are we talking about them, first level of consumers? Which organism on this pyramid? I mean the number five, the um. When we talk about the first level of consumers, we know level one is producers. We label it here. But when we talk about the first level of consumers, like you see on this sheet, what are we talking about, Dave? Level two. Level two. That's exactly right. It's this level. Why? Because we've labeled it. We have our producers, but there's only one label that's producers. So our consumers are each level after that. That's how many of you found when we talk about our third level of consumers. We're not. And let me not give you all the wrong information. Let's say that's a four. But you're not going up and finding the third level. You're finding the third level of consumers. That's one, two, and three. So use that, and that information will help you out at the bottom here. So what I'm going to have you do, and last chance to get this right before our test day. So pressure's off. If you have questions, two, three. Hold on, is this, is this the reassessment? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Coming again. Okay. Questions two, three, and four. So, especially looking at four, and I'll pull it up here if I can keep my clicker in my hand, but if you look at four, you see here it asks you to match, match the organism on the left with the organism <laughs> that it eats on the right, and I would definitely use this chart to help you out there. But, match it with what it eats. And watch out for these ones right here, the tricky ones. First level consumer, second level consumer, and tertiary consumer. Those are the ones that are gonna cross you up. So, make sure you use the labels on your pyramid, Make sure you're paying close attention to here and match them with the correct letter of the organism that it eats. Question here. Park of work, three minutes, library voices. Go. Okay. Zero. Thanks for Kayla getting her pencil down tracking me. Alicia, thanks Larry for putting in that extra effort. All right, really quick review on these, and then I have a quick question I'm gonna ask you to write out on the back of your page when we are done. So Caterpillars are small, soft-bodied insects that feed on certain types of plants. Which level of food web would a caterpillar occupy? Karina. D, prime and persona. How do you know? Because caterpillars are herbivores, herbivores, and they are on level two. Good. So we got that. Herbivores on level two. Absolutely. And then, especially, what do they eat? That's another clue that gives it away. So what do they eat and that gives it away, Michaela? They eat plants. That's the key. Okay, so that's gonna be that level right there. And so which level of consumer is this one? Now I'm not talking about level on the pyramid, I'm talking about the level of consumer. Karina, go ahead, take it. So this is the second level of consumer? No, the first. Why, why would it be the first and not the second? <laughs> why the first and not the second, Alexis? Which level would the caterpillar occupy on the energy pyramid above? Level two. Yeah, 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 okay. So just a misunderstanding there, Nigel. I think we're in agreement. I also agree with you on level two, the primary consumer level. My question is, what level of consumer is it? My level, that's the question I just asked Karina, is what level of consumer it was? And you told us the right one. What'd you say again? Two. Well, oh, I said one. One. So we agreed that it was one. And the reason why it was one, Alexis, one more time. How do we know it's the first level of consumer? It's the first level of consumer because it's the first level of consumer. The first level of consumer is the producers. Love it. Good. Make sure we're speaking up so everyone can hear. Which level would the counterfeit occupy in the energy pyramid above? So, 
This is the second question, not the one I just asked, but a separate one. Now, I should take this one. Which level would the caterpillar occupy in the energy pyramid above? The caterpillar would occupy level two on the energy pyramid above. Above in the full sense. Of the net, even the multiple choice. Absolutely. Uh, for those reasons we just explained. Let's go down here. Producer eats food. Not uh, Kai. You can say D, and that's your zone food. Do you hear that? Jason? One more time, we can hear you over here in this corner. I said D, it, it makes it sound food. Next one, Brent. 